So some students are asking uh, if there are any scholarships for undergraduate program. And there's like another question here. He's asking if there is scholarships for the MBBS program. So with medical programs, there generally aren't scholarships. Um, there, maybe there are some, some very rare ones that you can get. However, in general, because it's such a long program, a very expensive and competitive program, they usually are not scholarships for the medical programs. Um, usually the, the scholarships are for the bachelors are also not that easy to get. I think it's a lot easier to apply for scholarships for your master's or your postgraduate um, because for the, the, the most common scholarship you can get for your bachelors is for Chinese taught bachelors. Mm -hmm. yeah. um, and it's not usually for the extremely competitive and difficult programs. So the same with your postgraduate studies um, you can't apply for the CSC if you're doing an MBA either. It's also a, a difficult program to do, very competitive. So um, the, the scholarships, the CSD scholarship is for, not for medical programs. For the bachelors, it's for those taught in Chinese. And then for masters, there are Chinese and, for Chinese and English taught masters. Um, however, it's still very competitive. Mm -hmm. And then, um, what you can do if you're interested in scholarships is you can check with the university that you're interested in if they have some internal scholarships that you would like to apply for. And a lot of times the public universities will have some internal scholarships. Maybe it's not for if you are starting as a first year student, maybe they have some scholarships for second year students or third year students. That's what I did for my university. I didn't get a scholarship for the first year but I got scholarships for my second, third, and fourth year um, for academic scholarships. So they have those as an option. So maybe that's something you can take a look into. Um, and if you're interested in uh, pursuing an, a scholarship, an internal scholarship with the university, you just need to check about that application process because we don't help with those, those visa um, applications if they're separate. Um, but of course, if you are, uh, that we have a, a thing with Zust University, uh, Zhejiang University of Science and Technology, yeah. if, I'm not, mm -hmm. if I'm not incorrect. Um, the, the process for um, applying for the scholarship, the internal scholarship, is just to um, basically say that you are interested and give a reasoning or an essay as to why you're interested. Mm -hmm. If that's the process, then yes, we can do that as part of your submission. But if it's a whole different process that you have to do, then you, it's better for you to do that directly with the university. Um, and the CSD scholarship is completely separate from your, your, um, your application to the university. So that you will have to do separately if you want to do that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's right. And also for a lot of international universities, let's say uh, Zian Jiaotong, Liverpool University, the Nottingham Ningpo University, Chinese University of Hong Kong, Shenzhen, they also have like a very generous scholarships for international students. And usually it's kind of automatic as well. And like, mm -hmm. as in like you don't need like a separate scholarship application or scholarship account for that, but they will, uh, they will screen all of the incoming applications and if you are qualified for the scholarships they would actually offer you the admissions with the scholarships included yeah yes i think one thing a lot of people i mean a lot of people ask for scholarships mm -hmm. and they want to apply just based on scholarship um we can't accept those students that are that can only apply if they're mm -hmm. applying for the scholarship because you, there, are, there is a possibility that you might not get that scholarship and you do still have to pay for the application fee. So that's something that you, you need to do. There's no way that you can do it completely for free. Uh, if you are willing to self-fund in the event of you not getting the scholarship, if you still have that option to do that, then we can take the application because we know that in the, in the event that you don't get the scholarship, you can still continue with your application. Um, but if you cannot fund at all and you only want to get uh, like free tuition, no application fee, everything, then mm. that's a very difficult application to take on because if, if you don't get that, if you don't get that scholarship, basically you're withdrawing your application to the university. So the universities are not going to be very happy with that either. Yeah. 
And that's why we suggest students who apply for like Chinese government scholarships, for example, for them to apply directly to the university because that's going to be easier for you. Uh, and also it's because you need to apply to multiple uh, websites usually because for a Chinese embassy, uh, sorry, for Chinese government scholarships, you need to either send your applications to the Chinese embassy in your home country or uh, the second option is to apply on the university website and also apply on Chinese government scholarship website. So there are lots of steps mm -hmm. towards uh, applying to Chinese government scholarships. And that's why we think it's better for you to apply directly to the institution so you can get all the updates you need uh, very instant as well.